Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing my blow dry routine and sharing about a new product. It is the Tymo Air Hype Light. So thank you to Tymo for sponsoring today's video. The Tymo Air Hype Light is a very high speed hair dryer. Right now, it sells on Amazon for $99. They do have coupon codes here and there, so you can get it for a really good price. So I'm gonna be using this guy in today's video. As you guys can tell, it is a lot smaller than your typical hair dryer, but even though it is small it is very very powerful so it's small but mighty the airflow on this thing is very powerful which means it can blow dry your hair a lot faster less heat shorter amount of time which means less damage in the long run the technology nowadays has changed so much and i feel like you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars for a very good quality hair dryer looking at you Dyson. Nowadays you can get something really really good for a fraction of the price. So to kind of run through some of the specs, again it's very very powerful. It has four temperature settings and three airflow settings which you can change using these two buttons here in the front and then in the back you have the on off button. When you position this button here in the middle it's going to turn it on and then when you position it all the way to the top it's going to turn on the cool shot setting. So it does have a cool shot setting as well which I think is very helpful. It has magnetic attachments. I I have the nozzle attachment here which I love because it helps tame frizz and just really give me that smooth blowout look that I'm looking for but they do have a diffuser attachment and also this little comb attachment so depending on your hair type you might look for different attachments for me this is perfect for what I'm looking for it's very lightweight as well there's something about using hair tools and then lifting your arms for too long I feel like your arms can get so tired so this is very light very great to travel with as well just so many great things going for it in my opinion I've been using it for a few weeks and I really really like it. I was really excited to collaborate with them and share about this product in today's video I will say the only thing that I don't like is the placement of the buttons I can see why they would place it here because it just makes it very easy to change them out But I feel like most people would hold the hair dryer like this all the way at the top And you can very easily change the heat setting and the airflow setting Unintentionally because of that so you just have to be mindful to hold it here at the bottom when you're blow drying it So that's probably the only thing that I would say if I could I would change about it But it's not a deal breaker but it can be a little bit annoying when you're blow drying your hair You're like oh hold on a minute I just totally changed my settings and they have these two lights here in the back which dictate what strength it is, the airflow, the heat. So I'm going to turn it on right now not to jump scare anyone. It's going to be a little bit loud just to show you guys the noise level as well as the different settings that it changes to. So I'm going to turn it on. So that's the noise level and then as you can tell the lights do change to kind of let you know what settings you are using very simple but also very powerful i naturally have fine thin hair but i do have tape and extensions in and when my tape and extensions are wet they can really weigh my hair down you don't want that so what i do when i get out of the shower is i will first wrap my hair up in a hair wrap towel like this it really absorbs a lot of the water and i'll kind of walk around the house and then about half an hour an hour later when my hair is a little bit more dry I go ahead and remove the hair wrap towel and this is where I get to the fun part blow drying the hair I feel like tape and extensions if you have any kind of extensions you know that blow drying your hair it is a process it is such a process it takes forever and eternity this is why it's so nice to have something like this that can blow dry your hair in anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes depending on the thickness of your hair and how long your hair is all of that I feel like extensions take a little bit longer than natural hair I did time myself and it took me a little over 10 minutes so I rough dried my hair first and then I used a round brush so it took even longer because I was using a round brush but it took about 10 minutes so you should be able to blow dry your hair no problem in I would say under 15 minutes and again the technology is there so it's not really going to damage the hair they did also send some hair products which I'm going to be trying in today's video these two products I do already use in my hair care routine not these specifically but the types of products for example this is a hair styling cream and I personally love using a blow dry cream it kind of helps give you that blowout look that you're looking for when you're blow drying your hair it keeps everything nice and smooth and then also a smoothing and nourishing hair oil and both of these have pretty good ingredients this I like to use on the ends after the blow dry cream and then also once my hair is dry I like to run it through the ends for like extra smoothness that silky smoothness and it really does a good job it has a glass bottle pretty good quality so i like that they have hair care products as well i thought that was really cool i did read some reviews where they said they weren't crazy about the scent but i don't know 
Maybe I'm the only one. It does have kind of like a, I don't know, something about it, like a minty or something. I'm not sure exactly. Certain smell to it, which I actually don't mind to be honest. I actually like it. Go ahead and run that through my hair. And then I'm going to use a wide tooth comb like this. And starting from the bottom, I'm going to gently distribute the product this way through the hair. Now I'm going to go in with the hair oil. This is a little bit of a thicker hair oil. So just be careful, especially if you have fine thin hair. What I like to do is kind of rub it in between my palms. And then I'll start distributing it into the ends. And the highest I'll go is kind of like mid shaft. I do a little bit here in the front and my natural hair, just a bit, a few pieces. But I mainly just keep it on the ends because you don't want your hair to look greasy right after you washed it. So start light, see how your hair does with it. Kind of get a feel for the product. And then again, I do like to use it once my hair is dry as well, especially on the ends. I feel like with extensions, you really got to keep them hydrated and moisturized because it's not your natural hair. Okay, product is in the hair. As you can tell, my hair still is a little bit damp and I don't want to leave my extensions in weighing my natural hair down for too long. So what I'll do is I will go in with the hair dryer and I kind of give it a rough dry, especially where the tapes are attached to my natural hair. Because again, I don't want the extensions weighing my natural hair down and then for my fine thin hair in particular blow drying it especially if I have products in like the blow dry cream and things like that the hair products go hand in hand with how you style your hair so if I were to air dry it I would not get the results that I want using a hair dryer definitely gives me better results in blow drying it and again this one's nice because it's not really going to damage your hair you can use it on the highest heat setting it does get pretty hot just make sure you are not scorching your scalp it's not as hot as the shark i have the shark and i feel like that one i can see literal steam coming out of my hair this one gets hot but it doesn't do that but if you want that option whether you have coarse hair curly hair and you want that higher heat setting it is there i use it on the medium heat setting sometimes i'll use it on the high heat setting like real quick when my hair is pretty wet but for the most part i use it on the medium heat setting and then i'll use it also on the medium airflow because i have found that if i use it on the highest airflow i feel like my fine thin hair can get tangled which i don't want but i love that the option is there i'm going to go through and rough dry it you can do it however you want you can use a round brush so many different ways i'm just going to give it a rough dry you can flip your head upside down you know you do you but let's just go ahead and rough dry the hair it out because it's looking like a hot mess and then also keep in mind that this is not styled it's literally just blow dried usually i do not keep my hair straight actually i'm just going to kind of keep it to the side like this but keep in mind that my hair is not styled right now this is just blow dried usually i curl my hair but i just kind of wanted to review the hair dryer and show it in action i don't dry my extensions all the all the way usually i'll just kind of let the last five ten percent air dry sometimes i'll put it in a braid you can do the whole heatless curl thing but this hair dryer again it's very powerful it's small great for traveling it does the job it does the job well so yeah that kind of concludes my review if you're in the market check out the timo air hype light i'll leave any links down below i hope you guys found this review helpful thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in future videos